Ben Across is an English actor of the stage and screen, known for his portrayal of the British Olympic athlete Harold Abrahams in the 1981 film Chariots of Fire. Early life, Cross was born Harry Bernard Cross in London to a working-class Catholic family. His mother was a cleaning woman and his father a doorman and nurse. He began acting at a very young age and participated in school plays. Cross was educated at Bishop Thomas Grant Secondary Modern School in Streatham, South London. Early work, Cross initially worked in various jobs including work as a window cleaner, waiter and joiner. He was master carpenter for the Welsh National Opera and property master at the Alexandra Theatre in Birmingham. In 1970 at the age of 22, he was accepted into London's Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts, the alma mater of actors such as John Gielgud, Glenda Jackson and Anthony Hopkins, but later expressed little interest in pursuing the classical route. He also appeared as a CI5 agent in an episode of The Professionals, after graduation from RADA. Cross performed in several stage plays at Duke's Playhouse where he was seen in Macbeth, The Importance of Being Earnest and Arthur Miller's Death of a Salesman. He then joined the Prospect Theatre Company and played roles in Pericles, Twelfth Night, and Royal Under the Sun. Cross also joined the cast of the immensely popular musical Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat and played leading roles in Sir Peter Schaffer's Equus. Mind Your Head and the musical Emma La Dusa Euro all at Leicester's Haymarket Theatre. Cross's first big screen film appearance came in 1976 when he went on location to Deventer, Netherlands, to play Trooper Bins in Joseph E. Levine's World War II epic A Bridge Too Far which starred an international cast, including Dirk Boggard, Sean Connery, Michael Caine and James Kahn. In 1977, Cross became a member of the Royal Shakespeare Company and performed in the premiere of Privates on Parade as Kevin Cartwright, and played Rover in a revival of a restoration play titled Wild Oats. Cross's path to international stardom began in 1978 with his performance in the play Chicago in which he played Billy Flynn, the slick lawyer of murderous Roxy Hart. 1980s are Euro 1990s in 1980 he appeared in the TV series The Professionals as undercover operative Stewart in the episode Blackout. During Cross's performance in Chicago, he was recognized and recommended for a leading role in the multiple Oscar-winning Chariots of Fire. For their performances in the film, Cross and his co-star Ian Charlson both won Most Promising Artiste of 1981 awards from the Variety Club Awards in February 1982. Cross's starring role in Chariots of Fire has been credited with continuing a transatlantic trend in elegant young English actors that had been set by Jeremy Irons in Bride as Head Revisited, and was followed by Rupert Everett in Dance with a Stranger, Rupert Graves in A Room with a View, and Hugh Grant in Morris. Cross followed up Chariots of Fire with performances as a Scottish physician, Dr. Andrew Mason, struggling with the politics of the British medical system during the 1920s. In the Citadel, a ten-part BBC dramatization of A. J. Cronin's novel, and as Ashton Pelham Martin, a British cavalry officer torn between two cultures in the ITV miniseries The Far Pavilions. In 1982, the U.S. Union Actors' Equity, in a landmark reversal of a previous ruling, allowed Cross to appear in John Gare's off-Broadway play Liddy Breeze. The decision was tied to a joint effort by Actors' Equity the League of New York Theatres and the British Union Equity to allow British and U.S. actors unrestricted opportunities to work in both countries. The agreement eventually led to regular equal exchange agreements for equivalent acting jobs between London and New York. During the 1984 Summer Olympic Games, Cross appeared in a commercial for American Express with the 87-year-old Jackson Scholes a sprinter for the 1924 American Olympic team whose character was featured in the film Chariots of Fire. When Across says something about beating Scholes, the latter remarks, You didn't beat me. With mock indignation. Proving he is still pretty fast, Scholes beats Cross to the draw in picking up the tab with his credit card. He subsequently replaced James Garner as the featured actor endorsing the Polaroid Spectra camera in 1986. Cross was also featured in GQ magazine as one of the annual Man Style winners in January, 1985 followed by a featured photo shoot in March, 1985. In 1985, 
he played Barney Greenwald in a hit revival of Herman Wauk's courtroom drama The Cane Mutiny Court Martial at the Queen's Theatre, London. In a 1985 interview the actor admitted he preferred American roles because of their emotionalism, saying of English acting, over here, people hide behind mannerism and technique and don't come up with any soul. American actors are much freer with the emotions. It's pretty hard in Europe not to have experience of Americans because we're exposed to a lot of American product. Cross also said that he was sympathetic to the American dream of success, I am ambitious. There's no point of being ashamed of the fact that one has ambitions. Despite what a lot of people think in our profession, you can have ambitions and still turn in good work and still earn a living. There's no clash there. Cross expressed the hope that his reputation would span the Atlantic, and that those in the industry would not ignore him because he did not live in New York or Los Angeles. A prospective director would have to convince me that I could bring something new, fresh and exciting to a classical part that hundreds of other people have played, he said. Over the years, Cross has played Solomon in the 1997 Tremark Pictures production Solomon. Captain Nemo in the 1997 CBS film 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Vampire Barnabas Collins in the 1991 MGM miniseries remake of the cult classic soap opera Dark Shadows. Another vampire in the 1989 USA Network film Nightlife. Sir Harold Pearson in the 1994 Italian production Caro Dolce Amore. Iraqi pilot Munir Rafar blackmailed into flying a MiG from Iraq to Israel in the 1988 HBO spy film Steal the Sky. A Nazi SS colonel and certified war criminal Helmut von Schroeder, who has his face and voice surgically changed, poses as a Jew in a concentration camp, then by twist of fate becomes a Zionist and ends up an Israeli major general in the 1989 Ian Sharp's TV miniseries Twist of Fate, also titled Pursuit. 2000 to present, Cross played Icky Solomon in the Australian production The Potato Factory in 2000. In 2005, Cross, an anti-death penalty campaigner, starred as a death row prisoner in Bruce Graham's play, Coyote on a Fence, at the Duchess Theatre. He played Rudolf Hess in the 2006 BBC production Nuremberg, Nazis on Trial. In November 2007, Cross was cast in the role of Cirque in the new Star Trek film directed and produced by J.J. Abrams. Cross spoke to Star Trek magazine following the film's release, saying, My agent put me forward for Star Trek, and he sent a couple of films to J.J. I'm sure he was too busy to watch the whole of Species, but when we were on the set, he mentioned to me that there was one particular shot in it where I turned to the camera, and in that moment, it came to him how perfect it would be for me to play Cirque. In order to prepare for the role, Cross drew on his experience as a parent as well as Cirque's previous on-screen appearances. Having been present when his daughter was born, he was able to call on all sorts of things in the scene where Amanda has baby Spock, a scene which did not make it into the theatrical cut of the film. While he found the emotionless trait of a Vulcan a challenge to play, he found the father-son relationship between Cirque and Spock easier to play. As Cirque, I had to be true to the Vulcan cultural ethic which in the beginning, I found very difficult. I got a lot of help with that from J.J. Dealing with the adult Spock was a much more mature relationship, and I found the father-son aspect one of the easier things to play. In 2012, Cross was cast as Rabbit, the main antagonist on the Cinemax original series Banshee. Rabbit is a ruthless Ukrainian gangster who has been hunting down two of his former top thieves for 15 years. Other professions, Cross is a director, writer and musician as well. He has written music, screenplays and articles for English-language publications and has also written the lyrics for an album with Bulgarian singer Vasil Petrov, which was released in late 2007. He also sang two Sinatra songs with Petrov in the Apollonia Festival at the Black Sea in September 2007. Among many of his original works is the musical Rage about Ruth Ellis, which was performed in various regional towns in the London area. He also starred in it and played the part of the hangman. Cross's first single as a lyricist was released by Polydor Records in the late 1970s and was titled Mickey Moonshine. 
the nom de guerre for the performance had occurred to Ben when he recalled an earlier involvement with the music industry as a session singer for Decca between 1972 and 1974. At this time, he had recorded at a moment's notice an up-tempo number called Name It, You Got It, when the scheduled performer had failed to arrive at the studio on time. Interestingly, this recording achieved some play on the British Northern Soul scene and Ben intends to reprise his performance as Mickey Moonshine at a forthcoming Northern event. Other works include the best We Euro unregistered trademark they ever had and Nearly Midnight, both written by Cross and directed by his son Theo. In addition, the original soundtrack for Nearly Midnight was written, produced and performed by his daughter Lauren. These works were performed in Edinburgh in 2002 and 2003 respectively. Square One, directed by Cross, was performed at the Etc. Theatre in London in 2004. Personal life, Cross has lived all over the world, including London, Los Angeles, New York, southern Spain, Vienna, and, most recently, Sofia, Bulgaria. He is familiar with the Spanish, Italian, and German languages and enrolled in a course studying Bulgarian. He has been married twice, first to Penny, from 1977 to 1992, with whom he has two children named Lauren and Theodore, and then to Michelle until 2005. In October of 2014 he became a grandfather, with the birth of Lauren's daughter, Violet. Filmography, A Bridge Too Far, The Flame Trees of Thyca, Chariots of Fire, The Citadel, The Far Pavilions, Laptensian, The Assisi Underground, Paper House, Steal the Sky, The Unholy, the Jeweler's Shop, Nightlife, Twist of Fate TV miniseries, Eye of the Widow, Dark Shadows, Live Wire, The Criminal Mind, Cold Sweat, The Ascent, Temptress, Caro Dolce Amor, First Night, El Ashitimo Viage de Robert Rolands, The Invader, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, The Corporate Ladder, Turbulence, Solomon, Tower of the Firstborn, The Venice Project, The Order, Young Blades, Shimi and Her, Trial and Retribution, Exorcist, The Beginning, Icon, The Mechanic, Hannibal Euro Rome's Worst Nightmare, Wicked Little Things, Undisputed 2, Last Man Standing, Nuremberg, Nazis on Trial, Finding Rin Tin Tin, Species, The Awakening, When Nietzsche Wept, War, Incorporated, Lost City Raiders, Hero Wanted, Star Trek, William and Kate, TV Film, Super Tanker, DVD Film, A Common Man, Banshee, Viking Quest, TV Film, Randy Cunningham, Ninth Grade Ninja. References External links, Ben Across at the Internet Movie Database, Ben Across at the TCM Movie Database, Ben Across at All Movie, Ben Across at Fearnet.